Hey, my name is Kerwin Frost, and I love New York. I love the views, I love the sights, but most of all, I love starting my own business. And so I go to Shopify.com. There you can start a business fairly easy and sell whatever you want. Shopify. Hmm. To the interview with clown shoes on his feet, we want Kerwin is a man, he's going for the gold, he's gonna get the win. And this is Kerwin Show! Are you ready? Hey, I'm Kerwin Frost, and on this special episode of Kerwin Frost Talks, we're talking to the most interesting man in the world, Little Nas X! I'll take that title. Yeah. Interesting man in the world. Yeah. I like that. It's true. Um, thanks for coming on my show. Happy to be here. Yeah. Um, so many things to talk about. Um, firstly, I, I know you just recently got uh, your license. I did. Yeah. I got my license. Uh, what was that like? Because I took, the, I took the, the driver's written test and I failed it three times. I failed it only once. Wait, no, 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 I passed a written test. No offense, no offense. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but you know, I, I failed the driver's test the first time, like yeah. the actual driving part. Mm -hmm. And then the second time I passed it. Yeah. That's true. And um, you just got your first home? I just got my first home. Yeah, I just left from it. Love my house. That's true, too. Um, kind of with uh, kind of the ramp up you've had, how do you like mentally kind of stay sane? How do I mentally stay sane? Hmm. How do I mentally stay sane? You know, I have good pep talks with myself. Right. And, you know, just have my breakdowns in private so nobody's ever able ever to see able, them, yeah. you know? That's true. Yeah, you can't let them see you, you know? They want to see you and stuff. How often does that happen? Not as much as it used to. Right. You know, some days are harder than others. But, you know, most days are great and amazing. And, you know, I just have to remember What's the, like, yeah, I what's, am. oh, so that's, I was going to say, like, what's the thing that kind of, like, just levels you? Levels me? Into, into kind of getting back to, like, oh, okay, it's fine. Um, just, like, always trying to remember, like, that, how blessed I am and, like, that I can make the best of any situation. Yeah. And it's better to, like, stick it out and, like, push through whatever maybe like, pissing me off than, like, right. sit in anger or sadness about it. You right, know? right. That's true. Yeah, that is true. With um, with the with the with the EP with the seven EP. Yeah. Um. Wait, seven? Ooh. Wait, what? Wait, what was the question for it? Were you asking about it? Yeah, I was gonna ask about it. Do you not want me to ask about it? No, you can ask about it. It just depends on what. I just like, I don't like living in like the past or anything, you know? No, for sure. Yeah. But what I was going to ask was kind of, there was like all these different pockets in that EP, right? Yeah. The song I really liked was Closure. Uh, I thought it was really tight. Thanks a lot, man. Um, with kind of your debut coming up now, is it more like all these different worlds or is it like kind of following a tone throughout the whole thing? It's definitely like, many different worlds yeah. but it's all connecting to like one world and like it's like pretty cohesive it's very much straightforward like okay this is montero this is how i feel about the future yeah. about this past event about this current thing going yeah. on uh this part of my love like this heart this part of my family uh this part of my career you know yeah 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 for sure we really want to really let people get to know montero you know yeah, that so it's 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 deeper coming in on the album. It's definitely uh, deeper, but you know it still has its bops. Cause I feel like a lot of times, you know, when people have to have a deep project, it's not supposed to be like radio friendly or anything. Right. Do you ever like kind of struggle with that? Like, kind of uh, was uh was it sunset? Sun goes down. Sun goes down. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Oh uh, good. 
with that song, that's kind of like when you hear it, and then you hear like this kind of like deeper version of yourself, mm -hmm. kind of really talking through it all. Do you like putting that song up against like the other ones? Like, how much of a different place is it? It's it's uh, one of my. It's definitely probably the most personal song that I've ever released. Yeah, I like it a lot. And that may be like one of the only exceptions. Right as far as the album goes, or like any kind of singles that I've released. Because uh, I knew it was like something super personal or anything. Yeah. I felt that was like needed, especially like after Montero calling me by your name in the video and whatnot. Mm -hmm. and, you know, people are already like feeling like I'm doing things a certain way. Right. Like I'm trying to be like this person that's like, just like wanting attention and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, I want to inspire people. Yeah. You know, I want to tell my story and hopefully other people can relate to it. That's very true. With like TikToking and just like, like using the internet kind of like to just go hard, you've never kind of slowed down, which I think is really amazing because a lot of people will get to a place and they'll just be this level of like just being comfortable mm -hmm. and kind of you don't think that that stuff helps or like how do you, I guess, jump in there and like, all right, well, I'm going to make these TikToks and this hop. Like, could you talk to me a little bit about that? Well, I always have to like remind myself that it's okay to like get back into doing something. Yeah. Because sometimes there is like month or like a month I will go without like Five doing months, social right. media kind yeah. of stuff. But it's like, I just have to jump back into it. And yeah. it doesn't always like quickly Come things you. pop, yeah. you know, that's you, what it, you yeah, gotta just go, you know? And there's so much going on in your new life. Yeah. So it's like, how do you even tap into like the old Lil Nas X who would like, cause when you had the free time, it was probably just coming into you like, like nothing. Yeah, the time is definitely not as uh, much as I used to have. Yeah. But you know, I make it work. Yeah. Yeah. But how do you start? Like, give me an example, like just going into it. I really like literally anything that's on my mind. It could be like the sim most simple idea ever. Right. I go through and I go record myself and do whatever. Yeah. If it completely flops and tanks, nobody likes the video. That's okay because I started back. And yeah, that's, right, right. That's like. How, like, do you have, like, who sees the TikTok before it goes out? Who sees it? Yeah, like kind of just proofreads if it's funny. Me? No. So you just, you're just like, all right, this one's it. Yeah, I just. This one's definitely it. And it usually either 100% is or 100% isn't. And like no right. in between. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the good thing is the ones that the most people see are the ones that are the better ones, you know? Mm-hmm. But yeah. Not sure. Yeah, pretty much. Did Zach ever show you the video? No. Oh, yeah. For the new song? Yeah. Here, let's see. Let's kind of upload it. Boop, boop, boo. It's not 100% finished yet. Yeah. So some parts are going to look off. So don't judge those parts? Yeah. Not sure. I won't. Mm. Mm. Wait. Okay, you have to see this first so it can make sense in context. Daddy, you okay? Yeah, I'm bored. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna call you back, though. I'm doing this little court case for night cane, a little gay nigga. <laughs> I'll let you go. Is this volume up? Oh, there it is. Oh, this is not, Daddy. Alright, sure enough, I'll talk to you. Defendant, your honor, my client, Lil Nash, Lil, Lil Man, Lil, Lil... Hey man, what's your name again? Lil Nas X. Lil Nas. My client, Lil Nas, he had nothing to do with this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, this is about much more than shoes. Mr. Nas X, are you gay? <laughs> what does this have to do with the shoes? <laughs> Answer the question. Let me rephrase the question. Do your mama know you gay? <laughs> yes. 
Yeah, lock him up, throw away the key. <laughs> order, order, order in the court. Lil Nas X, I sentenced you to five years in Montero State Prison. And it's just like the trailer, like the, 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 the before the video happens. Yeah. And then this is basically like leads to this. Lil this is X. like months after I that. I sentenced you to right. five years in Montero State Prison. And this part right here, it's gonna be like blurred out, so it's gonna be like we're naked basically. <laughs> <laughs> Who shot this? Uh, Christian. Christian, um, I can't think of his last name. Yeah. 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 And this part right here is like a uh, part that's like uh, they're still making it. Yeah, this is like me escaping. Did y'all move? Right here is actually going to go off into the sky, Ooh. but it's not finished yet. Yeah. Cool. I like that one a lot. Thanks, man. I do. Ugh. Um, I read that uh, you write all your video treatments. Yeah, I had some help on this one. Yeah. Not yeah. sure. Yeah. Usually though, I write all my video treatments. What's what's that like? It's like making the perfect idea and mm -hmm. then saying, wait, I hate this, and then making a new one again, and then not liking that one, and then making another one, and then maybe you settle on that third one or fourth one. Yeah. Yeah. It came out really good. Yeah, yeah, thankfully. The greatest team of people. Yeah, yeah. that is true. Yeah. It, it's also cool because it's uh, the response to uh, to the lawsuit. Yeah. You see you see any of my latest TikToks? Yeah, no, that that's that's what made me ask. It was just like how do you even get in that mood to make those and kinda like 
be able to turn any situation around. Yeah, I'm kind of like I'm kind of like building it out. So you know, people think now I have court on Monday now. Right, right. So on Monday when that comes out, like I'm technically in court. You know? Right, right. Yeah. And then it's like, yeah, it's great. That's tight. Yeah. You see where I'm going? I do, and I like it. Thanks, man. You know, because it's like a lot of people can can say whatever they want, but you're relentless. You know, you're not gonna you're not gonna stop. That's absolutely true. And it takes a lot to to have that energy. Yeah, it takes a lot of self discipline. For sure. Kind of going so crazy in the industry. Do you feel like a lot of acceptance from kind of like the people you looked up to before you were in it? Yeah, some of them. Some of them definitely. Yeah, some of them. I think most people. Acceptance. Yeah. Not everybody. Yeah. That's okay. Not everyone's gonna like you, you know? Not everybody's gonna fuck with you. That's that's okay. But eventually. Mm-hmm. Mm, I can't help on yeah, eventually. I wouldn't, you can't. I wouldn't I wouldn't bet on it. You can't. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. It's life. Yeah. Sometimes you just have to school them. You gotta take them to school. Like where we're at right now. Yeah, we're out and of school. Like, and like pretty much, you know, maybe they'll learn something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I wanna know, like, you know what I'm gonna ask. And I think that's why it's been so like, are we gonna get to it? Are we gonna ask the question? I actually don't know what you're gonna ask. You, come on. I seriously do not know what you're about to ask. Okay. Tell me what it was like working with Elmo. You got to sing his song. <laughs> oh my God. That is the last thing oh. I was expecting you to ask. What did you expect? I, I don't know. I don't know. That's crazy. You got to meet and sing Elmo's song with him. I. On his show. I, I okay, I knew you were going to say that. I want to be honest. Yeah. I feel like that's the question everybody always asks. Everyone's me. always asking about that. That's what everybody comes up to me and asks. And I'm like, it. I felt like I didn't belong, you know? Right. Because it's like you have somebody of that stature yeah. who's mm-hmm. done so much for the world. Yeah. And you're like this little, you're like this little spectacle on earth. Yeah. Like in Elmo's universe. Exactly. So, it's Elmo's world. It's literally his world. It's yeah. his universe. Yeah. He was, he was humble enough to say it's just his world. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm sorry. This gets me emotional. It's fucking tough. Like... Oh, excuse my language, but I'm yeah. sorry. Um, he helped me a lot. He helped me a lot. So you guys actually got to become homies after that. Yeah, he, he, and he helped me like through, cause you know I had like all the controversy right, in March. Yeah, yeah. He came, he called me, and he told me everything was gonna be okay. Wow. He did, and nobody else called me and said Dang. that. Not even my parents. Wow. But Elmo was there. How long did you know that, like, well, leading up to, let's talk about, like, just leading up to the moment. Just, like, how long did you, like, were you listening to Elmo's song? You know, because you got to finally sing it. Uh, I believe from maybe, like, even before I was born, like, I was in my mom's stomach. Right. Because your she, mom was really into music. She would play music when she, she was pregnant would, with you. She would take her um, Walkman headphones. Yeah, yeah. Um, and she, like, put them in her belly button. Right, and right, I could right. hear it. Wow. I could hear it almost all. Yeah. Do you ever go back and watch that, relive that moment? Because that was, like, I don't think you've done anything up to that, like. Yeah, I just, it's kind of hard when you know, like, once you do something like that, that's, like, your peak. Yeah. When you, when you do something with Elmo. Yeah. Like, can where, where, can you go? Yeah. You can, where can you go from there? I mean, I'm going to try to do something again with him, hopefully yeah. hoping for something big again in my life. Yep, yep. But, yeah. That's tight. Yeah. That's sick. I love that. Yeah, it's crazy. Damn. So many blessings, so many things to be grateful for. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of things to be grateful for, but that one's always number one in my yeah. life. I would assume so. You know what I mean? Like, just, like. I've never met him, you know? But, you know, I kind of, 
And I love Elmo. I, w- I really want to meet Miss Piggy. Mmm. She hasn't been on the scene for a while now, too. I know, but I just feel like... She's one of those, you have to, like, email some... You know what I mean? You can't just, like... She's not on Instagram or, like... And I wonder why. Like, is it because she's, like, trying to live a pr- private life with Carmi? Well, you know, she was, she was pre-internet. So for her, it's, like, a whole new world. And she's, like, how do I even... You know what I mean? She probably has, like... Like, those request DMs, you know what I mean? She's probably never, doesn't even know how that feature works. I feel like she's also, like, maybe afraid because, like, this culture of people, like, are so, like, yeah. super, like, yep. hungry, yep. like, sexually, and yeah. she's super hot. Yeah, And yep. this could yep. be, like, really terrifying. They're going to take over those comments. And who says, like, what are you going to, like, leave your comments on, you know, hide your comments, you know what I mean? What are you going to, like, it's a, it's a rocky road. Very rocky. It's true. Damn. I went to the bathroom before the the interview. Yeah. It was tough. What what happened? Hmm? You, did you go to this bathroom? No, there's one right here. Oh, okay. But the sleeves are really long, so I had to like Oh uh, yeah, that yeah, it was really terrible. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, yeah, I mean no one said it would be easy. That's this is really really very much a metaphor for life. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. Like sometimes it's like it's like beyond your reach. Yeah. You know? Right. Yeah. It's kinda you gotta like just go that extra mile. Yeah. Pretty much. That's true. hmm What do you listen to? What do I listen to? I listen to a lot of myself, honestly, lately because I've been making my album. Right. Love me, big fan of me. Um uh, like a lot of random like songs that help you feel inspired. There's this one Kanye song, like Everything We Need. Ah, uh, like, yeah. We got so everything we need. Ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah. Ooh, and it's ooh. like that's true. Yeah. And you know, I had to think, and I was like, I do have everything that I need. Yeah. Everything else is just like a want, you know. It's fluff, yeah. Yeah. So you're becoming less materialistic. I wouldn't say that. I'm super materialistic, very much. But I do understand I have everything that I need. Yeah. But I, you know, I just want to work for more stuff. That's true. More stuff. You know, keep filling, filling up stuff and then getting tired of it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. That's life. Yeah. What are you going to do about it? What am I going to do about it? I actually don't have any idea. And sometimes I'm like, when I get old, and like I'm not able to function as well. Yeah. Like, how will I get more stuff? Right. Yeah. You can't. I can't get more stuff. Not sure. Wow. Could you um tell me about the pairing of you and Day Trip? Day Trip. Because I'd I'd known them in New York and they had this studio, it was across the street from the store called yeah, the little the little studio yeah yeah uh, and they were kind of like they were just always there everybody would just stop by come see them mm-hmm. but when you guys came together it was like a beautiful yeah like beautiful match made in heaven kinda, yeah they were actually my first session when i got to los angeles mm-hmm. and i like I, I didn't like really know them like that but i was like wow these dudes are cool yeah and then we end up like building the strongest relationship that I like still have in music. They're genuine sweet guys. They worked on the songs I just showed you, Industry right. Baby. They worked on Montero. Montero, Sun Goes Down. Hot. I think they worked on literally Panini. Every single yeah. one of my singles. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Except the first one. Yeah. How did that like? You just immediately you guys just sync? Yeah, it was just like an immediate click, and then it was we like started to open up with each other and like became closer. That makes sense. So it's per- day trip. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What, what's the, why are you looking at me like that? I don't know, man. I just I just look at people. I'll start looking around. Right, right. I'll look around. When you were talking about them, there was this little spark in your eye. Yeah. They inspire me, and I know they're going very far, and I'm happy to be along with them. That's right. <clears throat> That's pretty true. Mm. We get medicine. Find him. Find help. I'm not going to look anymore. I'm just going to, like, look around. No, it's all right. You can... No, no, no. No, no, no. I look every now and then. Right, right. So, right now I'm looking at the camera. 
Have you have you gotten to meet Kanye yet? You right, know, there was that photo of you guys outside of Sunday service. You know, he's actually has a producing credit on the song. I saw show, that right? at the end of the video. Yeah. Sure how did that happen? That. Uh, how did that happen? Uh, I can't actually can't tell you. How it happened? I can't. Not well, yet, at least. Oh. Yeah. Wait, why? It's just like a thing, you know. You want to like right, right. Check connections. Yeah. Yeah. No, you know I, what I mean? I, of course. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Mm-hmm. I don't want to look over there. No, 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 no. That's a... Okay, okay, okay. That's all right. Just looking around. So you guys talked? Yeah, we talked. He's a pretty cool guy. Yeah. Super down to earth. He's super talented. He showed me some stuff. He's working on some great music. Hmm. Yeah. That's true. It's nice to uh, work with somebody who's done that for so long so much longevity and still going you know yeah i mean he's kind of the height of uh outdoing yourself literally like and if and yeah. and like constantly evolving you know and like not even just evolving but like completely changing into something else every single you, time like evolving you i guess you would say somebody who's like consistently doing the same thing but getting better at it yeah but he's always doing something different and new yeah it's like outside of his bubble and it's kind of yeah. like he's really over deep over. in there over and over and over again recreating himself do you do you kind of see that traject tra tra not not even on a way of recreating yourself but still putting in that much work on like all the like tidbits mm-hmm yeah, I'm, I want to constantly get more and more involved. Like 10 years from now, you would see yourself still like... Absolutely. Or do you think there's like a precedence of like, okay, I set this bar, I can kind of like, you know? I don't believe that exists. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. I don't like Elton John exists. never stopped. Still going. But Shout out to Elton. But Lady Gaga became Jolene. Or Joanne? Joanne. Joanne, Joanne. She, she, Jolene. she completely took it off and put on the pink hat. That was yeah. her. She was like, I'm done. Yeah, that was really sick. That was a really huge transformation, too. Yeah. I like when people ride it out to the end, though. Ride it out to the end? What do you mean by that? Like, Flavor Flav never stopped being Flavor Flav. Flavor Flav. He's still that character. Yeah, I think that's cool sometimes. Yeah. I'm, I'm just very much a uh, person that, like, hates any form of, like, stagnation, I guess. Yeah. That yeah. makes sense. Not hate it, but... I, no, no, it gets... Yeah. yeah. You know when it's time to go. It's time to go. Yeah. It's time, it's time to, to go. It's the next thing. Mm-hmm. That's true. Who's your favorite artist of all time? A favorite artist of all time? I don't think I have one, actually. What? I don't think I have one. I mean, I always say, like, it's either Drake or Nicki, but I don't even think, like, them anymore. You yeah. Know? Like, I listen to them a right, lot, right, but I don't course. feel like they're my favorite artists. Because when yeah. I think about artists, like I think, like, all around. Yeah, of course. And now you probably have a different... Yeah, it's always changing. Yeah. Well, is there, like, who are you the most into now? I don't think I should say. I'm really into Lil Nas. Lil Nas X? Yeah. That guy's crazy, man. He's always, like, just doing the craziest shit. Yeah, I think he's crazy... And sometimes, like, it's overwhelming and a little too much. Yeah, but I think it's endearing. Yeah, I think he's, you know, just like a kid, like, growing up. Yeah. Yeah. It's a new perspective. Yeah. Whatever. I wish him luck, though. Yeah. How was, uh, how was the, the BT Awards? Very much terrifying at first because my auto tune wasn't working or something like that. And then for the first 30 seconds or so, or almost, I was like, oh my God, I, I want to leave the stage now. But I couldn't. Right. And I've had like a history of like uh, things going terrible before a stage. Yeah. Like my suit almost caught on fire, the VMAs. Wow. It was smoking. And then they had to cut my battery off. Yeah. Uh, then what else happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had like a wardrobe malfunction at uh, 
the Grammys where yeah, the back right. of my suit like didn't like shut up. Uh, what what else? What else happened? SNL, you know, like you know, my almost almost my like penis almost popped out. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's really crazy. I feel like every performance almost is this like a thing for me. You turn it around though. You're quick on turning it around. Wait, this I just realized this is like right, every it happens every time. Is there a performance that something didn't happen? Yeah, BT, BT actually went pretty great. No, the, I forgot that auto tune. Right, the auto tune. Well, that's okay. Well, I was gonna ask because like, they kind of, I've always kind of just, as time has gone on, and these are my words kind of, but like just become more and more kind of outdated and out of touch with like what's happening in pop culture period. So it's pretty crazy because you had, I know you've gone there before. Mm-hmm. And the same thing with like Tyler the Creator. Those are kind of like first time you guys both performed there, right? Mm, second time for me. Oh, it was, you performed there but before? I, I feel like I know what you're saying. It's because... just like more kind of like them offering that platform now at this point and kind of accepting it, being like, oh, yeah, no, this, yeah, this is normal. Yeah, I mean, like even in general, like I feel like uh, BT before. Maybe not even on purpose. It was like more closed off. Yeah. To even just like different styles of black music. You yeah. Know? But of course, you know, uh, homosexuality and whatnot too. Yeah. One hundred percent. But yeah, that's just, this is nice to see the growth. Do you think things are changing? I think things are changing. I think things are like changing. We're at a, at a rate and like at a point where it's like even if. People don't want things to change, they're going to happen, you know? Right. Like, it's going to happen regardless. Yeah, so they're just like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. That's like, true. Are we allowed to curse in a preschool? Yeah, you can curse. Okay. Well, the, if, if, if there's, like, kids here, probably not. Yeah, probably. Uh, I wouldn't curse in front of kids. Yeah. With what you do, you kind of bring a lot of joy and happiness to people. Uh-huh. I do, huh? I think you do. More than you'd probably, you know what I mean? There's like the two sides of it. Yeah, I think people. You always hear the bad comments first, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. But I think overall, though, you do bring happiness to people. Do you find it hard to kind of like still be like just up for that kind of like energy with like so much fucked up shit happening in the world? How do you maneuver on like kind of keeping yourself educated about it, but then also being like, well, I'm here to kind of like make people happy and kind of like do what I do and inspire people? Um, I feel like once you do your part of just like being a good person overall or trying your best to be a good person, like that energy like flows throughout the universe Mm. and and it goes on to others and others see what you're doing and they're like, oh, I want to do that too. Right. And that's one of the good things about uh, when you're, like, inspiring people, you know? For sure. And I feel like I inspire people. I I would agree. Does it ever feel like a like sure. a burden in any way? Yeah, exactly. Because you have to be no. kind of spotless. I will say this. It doesn't feel like a burden because I feel like it's just me doing me. Right. And I'm still, like, like I'm not trying to... I'm not being a good person so that yeah. other people will say... He'll be, he's a good a person. Good person. <laughs> I'm just being a good person, you know? That's just because it's like not really hard to do. Yeah. Yeah. They are trying at least. It's the best you could do. Just gotta do you. Mm-hmm. It's a fact. What are you looking at? It's looking at the books over there. Oh my God. That's what so a coincidence. Weird. Yeah, what? Did that you is... guys put this here because no. I was coming? Yes. No, that's so crazy that that's there. Could you tell me about what you're holding in your hand? <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Hmm. What did this, hmm. That's funny. This looks like something I would create. Yeah, right? Yeah, it's really insane. Well, good luck to that Arthur. Yeah. 
What are the odds, too? That's really crazy. Super weird. Oh. I should make a book. That's what I was going to ask. I should make a book. Would you make another book? Yeah, I would. But, like, like, do you like doing stuff for kids more? Or, like, would the second one be more kind of, like, for... I feel like the second one would be, would be like, more of my own thing, you know? Yeah. Because I feel like that was very much... um an idea that was offered and I was like, sure, let's mm. do it, you know? Right. But it's pretty amazing how it came together. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. And the illustrator did an incredible job. Yeah. But that's, yeah, that's what I was imagining because you're such a kind of like hands-on person. Mm -hmm. Kind of the second round, how, like, what would, how would you go about that? I had to be 100% keen and like focus on everything that's yeah. happening. And I try to probably make it more of like an inspirational thing. You right, know? right, yeah, for sure. Of like my actual life that's happening or has happened. Yeah. Because that, that wasn't really my childhood, you know? Right, yeah, no, of course. Darker days. There was still some great days back there, too. I mean, that's, that's the, it's a double-edged short. Mm -hmm. With uh, clapping back on the internet. Yeah. How are you so good at it? How am I so good at it? I think it's because I grew up on... Twitter and the internet in general. Yeah. So, you know, I know how to pick my battles and how to win them. Right. Yeah. That's pretty true. I'm learning. I know some things. Yeah. <clears throat> With the Satan shoes? Yeah. How, um, that was really crazy because it wasn't like an official collab, mm -hmm. but it had the energy of one. Mm -hmm. Would you want to collab with a sneaker company? Actually would. Yeah? Yeah. That's Maybe true. I'll collab with Nike, but like an official one. Right, right. That would be sick. Yeah. Yeah. Without like any lawsuits or anything. Right. It would be sick. That would be cool. Mm. Yeah. yeah absolutely. I agree. I agree. <laughs> yeah. It would be cool. It would be dope. It would be tight. I think it'd be like incredible, maybe. Be pretty fucking awesome. I think it would be like the best thing to ever happen to anyone. Ever. In history. Damn, okay. I didn't know you. Uh, wow. Uh huh. That's tight. It's cool. How did you come up with the concept for the Montero video? The Montero video? Well, there was a lot of drugs. Right. You know, I'm kidding. There weren't any drugs. Yeah, I couldn't imagine that. Was, was I? No, no, no. If there were any drugs, it would have been weed. No, I stopped smoking weed by that yeah. time. I just like to hell with it. You right, know? to hell with it. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you can't take me anywhere, man. I was like to hell with it, but I was also like to the to the to the Garden of Eden with it, right. you know. <laughs> and also like to like uh, to like ooh. Yeah. What do you think? That wasn't really an answer. What do you mean? Oh, like you were just like to hell, like let's just go to hell. No, did you just ignore everything? I thought you said to hell with it. No, I was like to hell with it, but I was also like to Eden. To Eden with it. And you know, like Right. A little dance between the two. When you released a video, you also um put up Kind of, I really like the the other videos you'd put up with it. Oh like, yeah, like kind the, of playing uh, and how we were hearing it from the bathroom. Yeah, that was sick. What what made you do that with that? Because I know you didn't try that with the other songs. Well, once I like remembered, like I'm like this incredible, amazing genius. Right. I was like, why don't I do something super smart and incredible? And that's what I decided to do with those like mm. other videos. And everybody was like, wow, he's super smart and incredible. Yeah. Yeah. And then everybody cheered and threw flowers at me. 
That was, I remember that. Yeah. That was sick. Yeah, I mean, it was like the craziest day because it was the same day that uh, Obi wanted me to come to his party. Oh, you probably know him. It's like Obama. Yeah. Obama. Oh. Yeah, he wanted me to come to his party. And I was like, I was like, maybe. Right, right. Yeah, he always like pays me to come to his party so I can look cool. Oh, he pays you for the appearance? Yeah. Just a walkthrough? Yeah, I mean, we used to be friends back in like high school, but we kind of fell off as I I started blowing up in music. How did that happen? What, me blowing up in music or falling off with Obama? Falling off with Obama. I mean, let's just say some people are toxic. Right. Some right. people are toxic, and you, they shouldn't be in your life. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> it is true. It is true. I remember you saying you wanted to get into acting. Acting? Yeah, have you gotten I a, do want to get into that acting, at all? but not quite yet. I imagine, like, because you're always working on something, getting into acting would be hard because you'd have to block off a lot of time for something like that. You would have to use a lot of time. And I'm, like, super focused on making music and arguing with people on Twitter to do acting right now. Right. Yeah. It's like, where am I going? It's like, okay, I spend, like, this much time on music. Right. And I spend, like, this much time on arguing with people on Twitter. Mm Mm-hmm. And, like, this is all the time I have. So where am I going to slip movies and yeah. shows into that, you know? Yeah. It just doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah. And I know a lot of people are saying you're in the Illumination. <laughs> you're working on the Minions movie or something? What's going on? Oh, my God. Yeah. Was they're that the Pharrell? They're going to kill me. The Illumination people? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I wasn't supposed to reveal that ah. yet. I am working on Minions for Return of... The Minions? Uh, yeah, Return of the Minions. Wow. Like, what does this guy not do? It's like, because I, I just told you I didn't want to do any movie stuff, and I just yeah. came clean about that. Right. And it's just, but then I remember I heard that. Yeah. That's crazy. Damn. Mm. When does the album come out? The album is coming out one day. Right. One day. One day. When you figure out you're going to need someone. When you figure out you're all right here in the city and we don't run from where we come from. That sounds like poetic justice. Poetic justice. If I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? I would trust it. It's poetic justice. You know what I mean? My lips looking, guys. I just licked them. But yeah. Uh, What's your favorite, like, house family game? Like, Twister, Uno? Uno is a classic. I like Monopoly a lot. Monopoly's cool. Have you ever played Careers? Co- careers? Careers? No. It's like a game, and you pick a job. And then it's like Monopoly, but it's like about you, jobs. You mean life? No, no. There's this game. Uh, careers came first. It was before life. But it is like life. That's cool. Oh. Okay, I want to ask something. Yeah. Right here, there's two people. Why well, is this a full person and this is like a stick figure? Where? where? On Q&R. Q&R is straight. For, oh, right. Why? Why can't they both be real people? I mean, it says a lot about our society. It says a lot. I feel like... You know, a lot of people have said that you're part of this new, like, (sighs) cult evading time and music. Me? What is, yeah, what does that feel like? Like, just kind of this new stream of artists. I think most people are right. Yeah. Yeah. Right? 
I'm something special, man. I mean, you made the song Bad Guy and it was just like when but it's like as soon as I made that song, I knew where it was going to go. Right. You know? How did you come up with that song? I was literally just sitting in my room and I was like yeah. And that's how it happened. Yeah. And then my brother Phineas came into the room. Yeah. And he was like, wait, do that again. Right. And I was like, you sure, Phoenix? Yeah. And he was like, yes. And then you guys just rocked it out? Yeah, but I just feel like it was nothing compared to my next hit. Right. Yeah. When I made Senorita, I was like, this is going to get the clubs going. Right, right. Yeah. And when it got to the end, who came up with that part? Was it you or was it Pharrell? It was like, it feels like something's heating up. Can I leave with you? Like, who came up with that? Um... I'm not sure who was in the studio at that point, because that's like, that's when I really started to like, like, you remember those breakdowns I was talking about? I had a real breakdown because I remembered Miss Piggy was not going to be on Instagram. Right. And it was getting to me. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. But that's life. As we said earlier. So, you know what this reminds me of? What? Super Mario Bros. It does look like, yeah, it does look like that. Yeah. That's true. That was a good game. Yeah. I used to play Super Mario Bros. on my Nintendo DSi. Mm. Then what happened to the DSi? My brother broke it, I think. Right. And we uh, forgive him. Uh, right. I'll never forgive him. That's true. I haven't talked to him since. Since I was nine. Wow. How did he, he like, was DSi. it intentional? Huh? Was it intentional? I feel like he did it on purpose because he's mad at me because I broke his Nintendo DSi. Wait, stop. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but in all seriousness, your first hit song, If It's Meant To Be with Billy Ray Cyrus, how did you come up with that? Because it's like, it starts and he's like, baby, lay down, girl, and relax. Don't back. When I made that with Billy, I just knew Industry Baby out now on all screaming platforms. Everybody going to scream Industry Baby and watch the music video. I'm sure you already had. I, um, I knew it was going to be a hit. Right. But it wasn't a hit until he hopped on it, you know? Right, yes, yes, yes. Because when he hopped on it, Industry Baby is the song of the summer. Get it now while it's hot. I just was like, wow, he really laid down that verse. Right, and what about that hook? If it's meant to be, it'll be. If it's meant to, like, when I wrote that, I didn't know if the chorus, like the melody was right. Right. Watch the Industry Baby music video. It is incredible. You're going to have your minds blown. Right. But I, like, fell in love. Yeah, yeah. I fell in love immediately. Yeah. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. And you know, what's it all worth if it's, we're not making sense? Nothing. Exactly. And that's a conclusion you come to at that point. Mm -hmm. At that point, at that point, I lost everything. Right. I lost everything. I I gave up my car. Right. I gave up my house. But that was hard for you at that, like, at such a point in your life. Mm -hmm. You could only imagine what you're going through. I couldn't, but it was like, I was eating the cereal, and it just happened to taste good. I always chopped bananas up in my cereal, because mm. my grandmother always did that. Yep. And I found it was, like, really good. Yeah. Yeah. Really crazy. Crazy. Whoa. And I commend you for opening up about that on a show like this. I feel like not enough people open up anymore, so right. I'm opening up. I'm open. Right. You remember the three little pigs? 
I don't never heard one of that. them. Well, there was these three pigs. They were harassed by this wolf. One of them had a house of stone. One of them had a house of sticks, and the other had a house of bricks. But Why? you, little Nas X, you live in a glass house. Why would How it? does that feel like for you living in such a pivotal view where everyone can see in your life? Why would a pig have a house? Hmm. <laughs> Why would a pig have a house? I didn't make the story. I'm just telling you what happened. It oh, it's before, a story? It's a, yeah, it was before I was born. It's a Walt Disney story. The Walt three Disney? little pigs, yeah. Walt Disney from like the show, from the channel? He made the channel, but he died in the 40s. Why? He was old, man. It was his time to go. That's so not worth it. Did you watch a lot of Disney Channel growing up? I watched Disney Channel, Nickelodeon, and Cartoon Network. That's true. Disney Channel, Nickelodeon, and Cartoon Network. Right. Disney Channel, Nickelodeon, and Cartoon Network. Mm. Disney Channel, and... Cartoon Network. Yeah. What about Adult Swim? Whoa. I was a kid. Why would I watch that? That's true. Who would ever? It's gross. That's true. Okay, I used to watch it sometimes. When, when everybody go to sleep and then my parents come in, I'll turn the TV off and go to the National Geographic channel. You know what that means. Yeah. It's Shark Week. Shark Week. What are you sick? Nas, thank you so much for coming on my show. Um, you're an inspiration. You're a hero. You're a villain. You're the bad guy. And we love you. <laughs> And Duh. for you to even carve out that time for me to just talk about things you've done in the past and things you're about to do in the future. I mean, I'm just so like grateful for that. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're awesome, buddy. I love you. Don't ever change. Disney Channel, Nickelodeon, and Cartoon Network. Chop, chop, chop. You're welcome. Anytime.